Hi and welcome to Hands-On Education. This video looks at a timeline of the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. Each period of time is named after the type of materials used to make tools and weapons. However, there are notable social and cultural differences also. We will begin by looking at the Bronze Age, which began around 2200 BCE and ended around 750 BCE. The Bronze Age marks a period of time when people began using metal to make tools and weapons. Bronze is made through a process called smelting. This involves heating rocks to extract the metal ore and pouring the liquid substance into a clay mould. Smelting first copper and later bronze was first brought over to Britain by tradesmen in Europe. Farming was made easier with these metal tools. The bronze axe made cutting down trees easier to clear fields. And the bronze sickle made it easier to cut down the growing crops. An increase in production meant that some people owned large areas of farming land. Territories were divided by dry stone walls. One style of a Bronze Age house is a round house. This was made with wooden or stone walls and a thatched roof. Archaeologists have found a number of beaker pots dating back to the Bronze Age. These are small bell-shaped pots made from clay and introduced to Britain by a group known as the Beaker People. People during the Bronze Age began spinning threads and weaving wool to make warm clothing. Through land and trade, some people became very wealthy during the Bronze Age, seeing the beginning in a divide between rich and poor within societies. This gold ceremonial cape found in a grave shows some people had wealth during this time. Next we will look at the Iron Age, which began around 750 BCE and ended in 43 CE. During this time, people began making tools and weapons from a new type of metal, iron. Iron was even stronger than bronze. To make this stronger metal, iron ore was heated and a hammer was used to shape the metal. Farming tools continued to be developed. An ard was used to plough fields, breaking up the soil. Stronger farming tools meant that more crops and grain could be grown. There was more food and populations also began to grow. Some Celtic tribes living in Europe travelled to Britain and settled throughout the land. Celtic homes were similar to those found during the Bronze Age. Made from mud and sticks, they were also known as roundhouses. One difference, however, is that Celtic tribes began building their homes within hill forts, with steep banks surrounding their homes protecting them from raiding tribes. The Celts continued to weave wool, dyeing threads in natural colours to make cloth with different patterns. Towards the end of the Iron Age, the Celts began to use a potter's wheel, easily allowing them to produce a number of pots in different shapes and sizes. Some families continued to grow wealthier through trade and land. Their wealth was shown through expensive jewellery and items in their home. The Iron Age ended in 43 CE when the Romans invaded Britain. And so a timeline can be useful in showing us the way that societies developed throughout the Bronze Age and Iron Age. From the tools they developed and made, to the homes they lived in. We can see the differences and similarities in the way people lived throughout this time. 
For your hands on activity, create your own timeline to show the key features of the Bronze and Iron Ages. For more information about this activity and more activities related to this time period, please go to handsoneducation.com Stone Bronze Iron Age. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and we will see you soon. Bye!